You may think you know all the colors. Well, that's a bad attitude to have, you smartass, because there's a brand new blue, and it does crazy things. So it has a crazy name, too. Yiminin. You got it. <laughs> Yiminin. Yiminin. It's almost as good, easy to pronounce as his last name, Subramanian. Uh, the chemist Maz Subramanian easy. from you Oregon State easy. University uh, accidentally discovered this pigment of blue. Uh, when he was trying to find a way to make something more like a conductive conductive chemical for mm -hmm. making computers, um, and he actually did this by uh, for in one series of tests, the scientists mixed black black manganese oxide with a variety of chemicals and heated them up to two thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Is it yttrium, Yt indium, and manganese? It has manganese? an elemental makeup of, I believe it's pronounced yttrium, indium, and manganese. Um, all together, and that's those are the letters that came out, kind of like how Tribeca was invented as a word. It's like that. It's just letters from each of those compounds combined together to make uh, the final amalgamated process. Um, so it was kind of an accident, and one of the returned samples from that uh, 2,000 degree Fahrenheit uh, co combination and heating up uh, yielded a very vivid shade of blue. Ooh. That is the chemist holding what he found, and it's odd because. <laughs> Everything in the shot is blue, and the background is blue, and you and I are both wearing blue. Not like this shot, which is very blue, and that, that's what the belief. pigment is by itself. So further testing found there's a unique crystalline structure that resulted in the compound from one, never fading, and two, not being wiped away by water or oil. Interesting. Which means if you get it on your hands, you are in trouble. You are going to be blue. But it can, it has a lot of uh, miraculous things that it can do. Like, for one, it's very good at reflecting infrared light. So if you make it uh, cover the roof of a home with this color, this pigment of blue, you could probably keep the house a little bit cooler. There's something about color schemes that always interests me, but I was really bad at school when you had to mix certain colors. Like, you know, what's what makes yellow again? Is it blue and green? What? Is that not, you mix, you mix no, color schemes. blue and yellow make green. A blue and yellow mix. See, this is just, in, this is just emphasizing how You're bad I am at this guy. game. That doesn't mean that I get a pink bow tie with a purple wristband and suddenly I've got another color. I just happen to know which colors go with it. Well, which. yellow and blue are primary colors. Yeah. <laughs> now you got me. So they're the ones that make the other three colors. I'm intrigued. Well, main colors on the wheel. I do know. I. I do you think there's some sort of story to be done somewhere to make a clip about fashion and how certain colors emphasize certain things? Mm -hmm. I always like to wear a darker color of blue because then when you zone in on the blue, baby blue eyes, they look a little bit brighter. But that's neither here nor there. But did always you tell me to... Always an excuse to talk about your eyes <laughs> on my show. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> you found out. You got me. But by the way, did you tell me to wear blue for a reason? Is that what you said? No, blue. I didn't tell you to wear yeah, that. I, did. I didn't. I absolutely blue. did. But I was saying how nice your set looked in the blue, and it was a coincidence that we're talking about blue. But do you think it's amazing how, no matter when you think you might know all the colors, one can just be discovered? Yeah. Well, That's I mean, it's not necessarily we've never seen this shade of blue, but this specific pigment, which was created uh, with different chemicals uh, being combined in a certain way, and it... It has these, what's, I think the bigger thing is not that it's like the pigment, the highly concentrated blue, mm -hmm. it's that it can do these things. It's that it, re it repels oil and water. It, it's that it can uh, reflect infrared light really well. You know, it's, it's a much stronger compound than you might find uh, other similar pigments. What's your favorite color? Uh, I don't know. It might be blue. I was, gonna, I, didn't know, I was hoping you were one of those people that you meet down like the Alex District, like, I like black, even though it's a shade. No, what I hate is when people go, uh, my favorite color is uh, glitter. <laughs> it's like, that's not a color. My favorite's jacket. yellow, but is there a certain color that you like to see adjusted to make, like, I don't know, I like red, but I like a more lighter color of red, which there obviously is a color for it, but I don't pink? know what it is. No, too, too pinkish. It's somewhere in between. Okay. Somewhere in between. That's your favorite color? No, my favorite color is yellow. Why yellow? I don't know. It's just a it's great so happy? color. It should be blue or green, but yellow is just a, it just brights, brightens everything up. Mm -hmm. Yellow is a great color to have. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if there's any yellow pigments that are doing such miraculous things as this particular one, which we're again going to call Yinmin. <laughs> Yinmin, bless you. Well, thank you. Uh, but there are, it's not commercially available yet. It is still in testing. Uh, there are several companies 
that are looking to be working with the, the color company that this chemist is working for that created it, it does have a lot of uses because it's, it's more than a color. I'm like we all are. <laughs> this is about race now. Audience. What is your favorite color? I'm sorry to ask that. Uh, this is a really cool thing, and I, I wonder how else we could use it. Given those properties, what would you use it for? Let me know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.